Today I am going to show you how, how to do the call method. This method is simple and it, it makes everything a lot faster to do adding and subtraction. So to do this task, you will need a paper, you will need some pencils and pens. No, what have you choose to use? So I'm, today I am going to use a pen. And if you need, you can use a ruler too. But for beginners, I, I note that you start with pencil just in case you make mistakes. So, first, let's have an easy question. Like 23 plus... 32. So, what you do first is that you put it in a, you put the biggest number, or you could do small, it, do, it doesn't really matter, but to make things look easier, you could start with the biggest. So write 32 down, then put the plus sign here and write 23 under it. Make sure you put it directly under it because the tens and units or it will be harder to add your, your sum. So first, the method, first you start with 2 plus 3 we know all we all know what 2 plus 3 is it's 5 and then 3 plus 2 it's also 5 so that's your answer now let's start now let's do something a bit harder this is called a carrying away method so i'm going to do 59 plus Mm, 42. You put the plus sign. And then, this is what you need to do. Now, now this is going to be a bit harder. Because 9, this goes after 10. As I said before in this one, you need to put the unit when you add one that is in the unit column, the answer you get must be in the units column and the tens column when you add it must be in the tens column. But for this one, you have nine plus two, which, you know, we all know what nine plus two is. It's, you're right, it's 11. So, now you have 11. So, but, what do we need to do? We can't just write 11 down. So, you put one here and the other one on top of the five. To make it easy, you can put a, a, a round around it. Then, five plus four. Now, we know that's nine, but we have this the one on top of here. So, we're going to add on to it. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. And now we're going to add this one. Which is going to be 10. Right. But, you might be thinking what I am thinking. What we all think at first. So, you think that the 0 goes there but where which number should we put the one on but because there is no uh, numbers here you put the zero here and the one here make sure you put this in the hundreds column now you have the units tens and the hundreds so i mean and the hundreds here. 
this so you get the answer as 101 thanks for watching we hope you learned how to do the column method next in tune you can learn how to do anything when you know this method